Ukrainian partisans poisoned Russian soldiers in Mariupol of Donetsk. At least 12 Russian soldiers died in occupied Mariupol of Donetsk region after eating poisoned watermelons supplied by pro-Ukraine partisans. Mariupol mayoral advisor Petro Andriushchenko told Ukrainian TV broadcasters. Andriushchenko clarified that partisans did not directly hand over the poisoned watermelons to the occupants. Instead, he said, Russian settlers who had recently arrived in the occupied territories were hired to deliver the poisoned produce. Our people do not directly participate in the delivery of such dangerous gifts to the Russians, unlike last year, he said. There are always people who come from Russia looking to earn some money. He added that much of what the resistance movement does in Russia-occupied Ukrainian territories remains undisclosed. The operation was simple. It was clear that watermelons were being purchased for the military base. Andriyushchenko said it was clear who was going to supply these watermelons. These people were sold a batch of watermelons at a low price, which then caused the intended damage. Local Russian authorities, the advisor said, confirmed the deaths of 12 soldiers and reported seven additional cases of incapacitated troops. Earlier this year, partisans in occupied Mariupol have told how they created an imaginary charming woman on a social media site to obtain information about Russian troops, which they then used to poison them. Using the fake profile on the Russian social network Vikontakt, the partisans learned that vodka was particularly sought after by Moscow's soldiers as a ban on them buying it had been imposed in the city. They are so eager to meet women that their Vikontakt is like Tinder. A partisan told Kyiv Post on condition of anonymity. Another partisan, posing as a vodka seller, was then dispatched for the next stage of the operation. We did a little magic with a syringe, a partisan told Kyiv Post on condition of anonymity, describing how they poisoned the drink. They added that the person who bought the vodka from the partisan supplier had been thrown into a pit in order to find out who sold it to them, but they were confident they would not be traced, in part because of the winter weather. Around 45 missiles have been launched in the last few hours by Hezbollah militant group from southern Lebanon towards northern Israel, the Israeli Defense Forces IDF, reported on Saturday. IDF stated that the first barrage of rockets, around 30, targeted the northern Golan Heights. Some of the missiles were intercepted, while others hit open areas causing fire. Subsequently, Another 10 rockets were launched against the Western Galilee and then another 5 against the Upper Galilee, according to the Israeli forces. The attacks caused no casualties, the IDF specified. Iran-affiliated Hamas militant group said that it fired rockets from Lebanon toward an Israeli army post in the northern Israeli village of Shamra in retaliation for the Zionists' massacres in the Gaza Strip. Hamas has carried out such attacks from Lebanon over the past several months, but they have been rare. Hezbollah's attack on the northern Israeli kibbutz of Daphna came few hours after an Israeli drone strike hit a car in the southern Lebanese village of Burj al-Maluk, and shrapnel from the missile wounded several people who were standing nearby. On Friday, Hezbollah said that it fired rockets at three villages in northern Israel for the first time in retaliation for a strike that killed several people the night before.